Yo, what is going on, you guys? This is Ryan with a couple of my buddies in the Skype call. We got Joshua Bruin and we got Josh Norton 22. I'm sure you guys remember him doing his YouTube videos and stuff like that. Maybe you'll see him again soon. But I'm just having them in the video because I just got kind of back from the emergency room. Kind of had like a sinitis, I think it's called. Like a really bad sinus infection. Kind of face is a little bit swollen. So I wanted to have a little bit of support in this video just to hand it off to someone else. But yes, team of the year. We finally know the details of what's going to be in this promo. All the cards from the offense, the defense, and special teams. And also, yes, we do have collectibles back, which, you know, last year, the collectibles weren't that bad. You get a couple of collectibles together, I think it's like 10, and then you get a uh, random team of the year player. And these cards really aren't that hard to get out of packs. Sometimes they have solo challenges for them and stuff like that. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and show you the offense. Bang! There it is. We got at left tackle, Joe Thomas. Left guard, Mike Aipati. We got center, Ryan Khalil. Right guard, we got Marshall Yonda. Right tackle, Brian Bulaga. Tight end is Tyler Eifert. Wide receiver one, we got DeAndre Hopkins. We already seen that on the NFL uh, network. I think it's called Madden NFL Live. We got Brandon Marshall, a really good card right there. I'm definitely hoping to see that card having some really good stats. We got Tyler Lockett, Doug Martin, John, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, John Kuhn, and we got Russell Wilson. So do you guys want to make a comment on any of these cards? We start off with the offensive line. Like, what do you like out of these cards? Well, uh, first of all, I like that Russell Wilson. He looks really good. He's probably going to, I like mobile quarterbacks, and he's probably going to be really fast. I like that Brandon Marshall. And, you know, I think um, it's going to help a lot of people who have lower overall teams. And uh, the O-line, <clears throat> I really like the O-line, so I'm going to pick up a couple of those because I've been waiting for team of the year to start building my O-line. So that's uh, that's pretty much all i got to say about the offense. Anything from you, JB? I, th I think, like, the most underrated card out of there is Tyler Lockett. I think Tyler Lockett's going to be the best returner in the game. So watch out for him. And he'll probably be cheap because he's only 91 overall amongst a bunch of 93s and 95s and 96s. So yeah, he watch is out the for lowest, Tyler Lockett. He is the lowest overall out of all the cards that you're going to see on offense and defense. My personal favorite out of this whole group of people, I kind of like that Marshall Yonda and that Mike Yapati. I'm thinking they're going to have really, really good run blocking, probably in the high 96 to 99 range especially for Yonda. So uh, I would have loved to see Delaney Walker at tight end, but we've seen a whole bunch of Gronks. We've seen a whole bunch of Greg Olsons, and now we're getting a Tyler Eifert. So maybe we'll see a Delaney Walker. I don't know. We're going to have to see. Maybe in the positional tight end set. I'm not sure. But there's your offensive side of the ball for the team of the year. A lot of good cards there. Uh, Doug Martin, I know a lot of people may think that's a little bit questionable. Maybe they wanted to see someone else there, but he should have good attributes. I'm not going to think he's going to be someone crazy that's going to replace a guy like Marshall Falk or Bo Jackson, but it's definitely a good pickup if he's not too expensive. So let's go ahead and get to the defensive side of the ball. Bang! We got Reggie Nelson. We got Demarcus Ware, who had a very, very good year. We got Clay Matt. Also, Demarcus Ware in the Super Bowl right now. Hopefully, he can get to the quarterback if they have any shot of winning. Uh, we got Clay Matthews here. We got Jamie Collins, Cam Chancellor, guys. 97 overall. That is, I think, the highest overall card amongst everything here. We got a keep to leave, Ezekiel Anza. We got Geno Atkins with yet another card. Aaron Donald wearing those cool all yellow Rams jerseys. Muhammad Wilkerson and Richard Sherman. Also, we do have the punter and kicker here that we could see. We got Johnny Hecker and Dan Bailey. So again, Josh, what card do you think is going to be the best out of this group? Um, well, I really like that Cam Chancellor. That'd be really nice to have on my team. You know, it'd be absolutely obvi obviously going to be really hard to pull. Um, I like that Sherman too. Big corner can stop a lot of the aggressive catching. Hopefully, I like that whole D line kind of too. With uh, Anza, he's probably gonna have. He's, I'm sure they're gonna have a lot of speed with Aaron Donald and Anza. You know, and then uh, yeah, you got your like speedy the, guy in Anza. You got your really good, uh, you know, block shedder Muhammad Wilkerson, and then the two. You know, defensive tackles. One's a big power guy with some speed. The other one guy's a, you know, a speed rusher at defensive tackle. So that's going to be really cool. But continue your statement. Um, and yeah, and then I like that Reggie Nelson. You know, I've been looking for a free safety this year that's, that's kind of got some speed and some size and also really good zone coverage and stuff. But there's really not many of them out there. I've been having to go with team of the week cards. So hopefully this will either help uh, drop the price on the Ha Ha Clinton Dicks I want or I can at least get the Reggie Nelson. All right, and then, oh, you want to keep going? Go ahead. Oh, yeah, I was just going to talk about the linebackers. Um, and then the linebackers, I like Clay and uh, Jamie Collins because they're probably going to have really good zone coverage. Not so much with Ware, I don't think. Ware's uh, more of just a, a speed rusher type player. Yeah, someone you could send on a blitz or something. But, yeah, other than that, I, I like the defense overall. I think it's um, overall better than the offense, I, I, if I think you agree with that. Yeah, also, shout out to Dan Bailey. I know Chase is probably going to get home. See, Dan Bailey finally got a good card. 
and be very happy about that. So, JB, you have any thoughts, opinions on these cards? What's your favorite? What do you think is going to yeah. be the most, you know, sought-after card? Probably the Cam Chancellor. Yeah, obviously that that Chancellor and the Sherman, obviously two of the the better cards on the defense. I think that Don't Jamie sleep on Collins Tlaib. is going to... I'm not going to sleep on Tlaib either. Tlaib, I think he's not gotten a, a lot of love this year. I think he only has like two or three cards this year, right? Yes. Something like that. So, and I, I, I'm just going to say it. Jamie Collins is probably going to be one of the best users out there. I mean, oh, yeah. I can't only imagine like what his speed is going to be. I mean, overalls are a little deceiving because, uh, as we all know, Zadarius Smith is an 87 overall, and he has the stats of a 99 overall card. So we're going to see we're going to see what uh, what comes out, and uh, I'm pretty sure Jamie Collins will be the best user in the game. Yeah. So my personal thoughts in this defense side, well, I really want to see that Reggie Nelson. Um, I know he has really good hit power, really, really good speed, and I think he's around six foot, six foot one. So that could be a really underrated card there. Something that I could replace, you know, the card that I have there currently, which is Sean Taylor. I know a lot of people are going to be like, why do you want to replace Sean Taylor? Well, I kind of like him more on the strong safety side of things. And depending on Cam Chancellor, I might just get rid of him altogether because these guys are really good. And as you know, I'm building my team based off of team of the year. So everyone in the comments below is going to ask, Ryan, are you finally going to build a team? I have most of my cards set in stone. Going to replace, you know, a whole bunch of other guys with these team of the years. And I really like some of these guys. So definitely the offensive line is the key thing. Like I have no offensive linemen. Really looking forward to plugging in all those guys if I can. And then on the defensive side of the ball, I'm really liking that Aqib Tlaib. Uh, Aqib Tlaib always has really good cards, really good zone, really good man and press. He's a man zone press kind of combo guy. Uh, Richard Sherman, of course, is going to, you know, I think he had like 93 speed in the card that we saw. Really good. I think 99 zone coverage. So that's going to help me out a lot. I play a lot of zone. And then, like I said, guys, Muhammad Wilkerson is going to be that really big power guy. You're going to want in like a 3-4 system. And then, of course, Ezekiel Anza going to be a crazy speed rusher. Be sure to check him out. Jamie Collins, nothing needs to be said about that. Cam Chancellor, nothing needs to be said about that either. He's going to be a beast. And then, of course, Geno Atkins and Aaron Donald are both going to be uh, kind of like mainstays on my team, I think. I really like those two cards, and I don't even know what their attributes are yet. But, of course, they will be in packs. I know a lot of people are probably going to wonder, you know, why we haven't mentioned that yet. But, yes, they will be in packs. You can pull them out of pro packs and the team of the year packs that I'm sure we're going to have. And also, as you're seeing in this next picture here, you can add the 10 team of the year collectibles into the set and get yourself one random team of the year player. Hopefully, we don't get the kicker or punter in that. And of course, like JB said, Tyler Lockett might be the most underrated, you know, card, but he is going to be rather cheap and it's not going to be a card you want to get out of that set because the set will probably, you know, cost upwards to, you know, 200, 300K if I had to take a guess. So uh, you can get those out of, you know, packs, the collectibles, the players. And of course, we're going to have some solo challenges mixed in there, probably bundle toppers with guaranteed team of the year collectibles and stuff like that and also if you guys did do the team of the week master set if you did all the team of the week uh solo challenges you will get one random card with your team of the week master collectible um i think i just read somewhere that it won't be auctionable or tradable which does suck but don't take my word for that i'm not sure 100 someone tweeted that out earlier and i was just you know taking his word for it but just giving you guys a heads up, it might not be auctionable or tradable. But other than that, guys, that is Team of the Year. Hopefully you are really excited as I am. I'm sure most of everyone in this call is excited for it. I know Josh is going to be building the team. Maybe JB will be building the team. And I don't know if London's going to be wanting to do anything. London's not here right now, but he is in the Skype call. Uh, but if you guys have any one you know, final word you want to say for Team of the Year, go ahead and get it out now. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys later. Subscribe to the channel. If you are new, give it a like, and I'll talk to you guys later.